Hello fellow rogues and alchemists, this is Fate Alchemist here, and welcome to another episode of Survival Stories 3. In the previous episode, we were improving our creeper spawner situation, and between episodes, um, a little bit of a backlash, a dimensional uh, glitch you could say. Uh, Godfrey did warn me, but don't tell him I told you guys that. Uh, we had uh, visited Sassy Rogue, so check out her side for um, an interesting uh, encounter. But we're back over here. Things didn't go as planned, we should say. And that has kind of got me thinking. If we look behind me here, our house has not been finished for... it's. It's been 40 episodes now, 41 episodes, and the house is still not finished. This is not acceptable. So, what we're going to do in this episode, everyone, is we're going to get at least four walls up on this house, get it done, get it complete, and do some things that we should have done a heck of a long time ago. So sit back and relax, and enjoy my survival stories. You can see that I'm fully kitted out here, and uh, you might think that's quite odd for today's mission, which is to complete the house. Well, here's why. To complete the house, it would be much easier if we had a uh, the, the ring. Ooh, it's nighttime. All right, fellow rogues and alchemists, we're back. So as stated, today's mission is to complete this house, or at least get four walls in this sucker and make it so it doesn't look so like so much of a construction site. So to that end, if you look at the roof here, all of that, those are actually carpenter blocks, which means to fill those in, I had to pillar up and place each and every one of those up there. That was a pain. and would have been mu done much easier if I had the angel ring. Now, now the angel ring, this guy, gives you the ability to fly. Creatively. Now, normally, I'm actually not a fan of this ability because I think it removes a lot of the interesting parts of the game. So for me, this will be a building aid only. But to get this, we need another star. Get another star, we need to fight the wither. And to fight the wither, we need one more freaking wither skull. Wither skeleton skull. That's all we need. Rather than go to the nether and harvest with our skeletons, like the old-fashioned way, we're going to go into another one of roguelike dungeons. Graymerch roguelike dungeons. Because there's another one that's nearby. Uh, another thing that we need, if we uh, travel over here real quick to our... to our little uh, spawn or a doom thing here for the Endermen, we actually only have one Enderman spawner in there at the moment. I was thinking, hold a lot more than that. I'd like at least two, and then we can increase the capacity in this thing. So that's also on our shopping list. And hey, if we get our creeper spawner while we're at it, great. So we're going to get ourselves kitted up and ready to dive back into the nightmarish halls of Greymerk. For that trip, we'll be taking our Sigil to Blood Lamp. We also got some Soul Vials, just in case. I make it a policy to always take these with me. You never know, an interesting creature might show up that we might need to exploit later. We got a practically full band of mana. I have two greater bands of ore that will be generating it. And then also, Tainted Blood Pendant. Now this guy's going to give us regeneration. Got a trash can here, just in case we get too much stuff, food, and we have a soul-bound bag of holding. It has a spare bag of holding in it, and then two diamond dollies. So we're going to make a speed run of this, because there's some very specific items that we want. Uh, my, my light's a little dangerous, apparently. <laughs> um, yep. I'm pretty sure I already hit that, but we're just going to make sure. You know, we... Take that, Skelly. You know what? I got projectiles, too. Mine are magic, and yours can't even hurt me. They just bounce freaking off. Kramark's dungeon's on fire! That looks like a creeper spawner to me. If so, that's awesome, because it was in a very easily uh, pacified location. Yep. 
Yeah, it is. Yoink. There. Oh, look at that. There's two of them right there. Oh, yeah, those are good. I forgot about the trap. <sighs> okay. Well, we are near the Enderman spawner. Now, Endermen aren't so bad because they, uh, you know, they're not naturally hostile, but they're always accompanied dang spiders. And I think, like, right below us, right in there, that's obsidian. So I think right below us somewhere. That's the room. Silverfish even, wow. What's happening? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Now if I do this, that's an escape route. Alright. Okay, so this could get hairy. So if I drop down, grab that. Uh-oh. I'm going to do it. I'm going to drop down, grab that, and zoom up. <sighs> I did it. Okay. Let's get that. All right. We came what we... We got what we came for, guys. We got what we came for. It's time to get out of here. Let's pillar up. Place you underneath there. Thank you. Can, do these make pearls still? Huh. No, that's a new feature. Okay. Down, down, down. Let's get out of this death trap. Oh, please, oh, please. I want to leave. All right that. Let's not do that. Let's do this and do that. One, two. Fantastic. So now this thing is in crazy go nuts mode. We got Pretty much full capacity in here. We could just create a string of these in here if we wanted to, but that might be... Oh, wow. Yeah, that's cool the way it is. Okay. About withers in this world. If you're in the know of magical summoning, most novice um, wizards know that to summon a wither that you would use... Three soul sand. Let's get these out of here because we're going to use them soon. There we go. That you'd use three soul sand and three wither skeleton heads, and you would get a, a wither skeleton, uh, the, the wither, which is probably the most vicious boss that you can fight against. Now. The thing about this world is that the Withers, they learn after you kill them. And uh, that's bad. I mean, if we want more than one Wither Star, we're going to have an issue. And um, I am a sporting alchemist. I, I don't like doing any of those cheap traps. I actually want to fight the thing. Which will be problematic if um, that being the case. So, whoopses. What we want to do, what I'm thinking I want to do is use, let's see, Tome 
of elk history. Now, I've seen this, and it's kind of like, man, there's just too much that we need. There's just no way we'll be able to ever build this. But here's the thing. Um, well, here's why I want it, first of all. You can duplicate nether stars with it. As long as you have one already, you can double it. So we should probably not spend our first nether star. We should use it on this. We have all of this. We'll have an extra head because we have four, so that's perfect. We have barrels of that. This and this. This guy's a problem. I'm going to gather up all these materials. I'm going to see if I can make this sucker. So that's going to require me to go through a lot of my inventory and stuff like that, so I'm not going to uh, really force you to watch that. Boy, what a mission. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Well, that was a crazy one, guys. So, um, I was inside the house here in the basement, compiling everything that we needed to make this thing, the whole rabbit hole of different items that we would need. And uh, while doing that, uh, I didn't know it, but it was a blood moon. And uh, fortunately, our obsidian roof protected us here because the meteors did fall. In fact, you can see a few places here where they hit. Fortunately, it didn't hit anything sensitive. It didn't hit, didn't break our spawn or didn't hit our tank. So that was a close one. Anyway, I'm just about done compiling my list. I want to put it all into a book so we know what we actually need to get. All right, everybody, I'm back. I'm a little uh, mentally exhausted. This Tome of Alka History will be the finest piece of literary work I've ever created. So, to make this, I've compiled a grocery list. Ugh. <laughs> we need all of these to make these next secondary step items. The order, this is the order I recommend crafting them in. I have the storm, and then once you have that done, you'll be able to make the Tome of Valk history. So, we have most of this actually. Bat wings are something that we don't have. So, I'm just going to start whittling this down and uh, see so what we can find. So, I need to find myself a bat. Oh, yeah. I guess it's time to go caving. Okay, everybody, we're back. So, a recent plan here to make it so we can get what we need for the rest of it. So, frozen cores. But it turns out frozen cores are dropped by snow golems, so that shouldn't be too hard. I'm not going to worry about that too much. The bat wings, we need another four. And we need... Another 23 rib bones. Now those are the two. Um, the rib bones aren't so hard. It's just a bat wing. It's just a bat wing. Okay, well that's great. So hunting bats. You know they're everywhere when you're not looking for them, but as soon as, as soon as you're trying to find them, they're nowhere to be found. So my plan is to. Well, I'm gonna just do this real quick while I tell you. So, my plan is to make a magnum torch and make an under underground chamber that is below level 63. It's got to be dark, low, uh, three or lower. And that will um, induce bats to spawn. Of course, it's going to induce other things to spawn as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a magnum torch, which will block all hostile spawns. That's all I need for the moment. I'm going to put those other two back. And so the only thing that should be able to spawn in there would be bats. And then that's how I'm going to farm them. Now we're just getting some gold and some... <laughs> I love this thing. There. Get a little bit of gold and a little bit of diamond here. 
And now the uncrafting table will take care of the rest of this. And that should be all I need to make ye old magnum torch. Regen. Oh, so cool. I'm so happy I made this thing. Come on, give it to me. Magnum torch, okay. I'm just gonna harvest some snow golems. <laughs> Be careful not to fall into. Oh, hey, Godfrey. How you doing? Oh, I'm just harvesting some pumpkins to make snow golems to rip out their hearts. What are you doing? All right. Don't look at me like that, Godfrey. You, th this can't be all that shocking to you anymore <laughs> from what you've seen. <laughs> It's going to be a lot of snow golems. There we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hello, everyone. Welcome to die. <laughs> I need your hearts. And yo. Well, there you go. We can check Frozen Core off the list. And I might actually just put a block of wood on that so that nothing spawns on it. I'll fall down below, jump. Okay. But cursed earth it's kind of catty wumpus, isn't it? Well there. It's not permanent Perm permanent. But that's fine. Excuse me. Alright. And now We can cover that, oh my gosh, cover that up. Okay. And now that should just always be dropping skeletons. There we go. And it shouldn't matter if we're near it or not, okay. All right, it's been several minutes later. Let's see what we got. <laughs> nice. All right. Um, rib bones get. That's that's more than what we need. Guys, guys, I'm so excited. Okay, so. <laughs> Remember how I was saying I needed the vision sigil? So I could uh, do a ritual to get a component we needed for the for the wings. I can't hardly speak. Hold up, let me let me show you. Let me remind you. We needed these to get those. Uh, we need the division sigil. They have a limited lifespan. They can explode. Well, ah, uh, I powered up our flower for a while here. Ella. <laughs> Look what we got! And we also got a ton more golden bags, too. Oh, that, that's... <laughs> oh, man, Lunium. I love you. So, that... We just skipped a step. That's perfect. We just need the blippin' bats! <laughs> Flying mammals! They were in Grimrick's dungeon that one time. Remember that? Well... I haven't been able to find any bats. I thought maybe by using a magnum torch and making a dark spot down below level 63, 
that only bats could spawn. That hasn't yielded any uh, results. So instead, I'm going to look for a cave. And I'm going to uh, use the night vision potion that you see potions that I've created. I don't need to use torches, so I can keep it nice and dark. And I'm going to do some dark caving. What the heck is this? This is new. Oh, there's something in there. Skeletons. Can't stop me, hey guys. Die, die, die! Death! Zombies. I'm not worried about zombies. You can't hurt me. A little guy, die. Death to all you. Wow, there's a lot of people in here. Wow. Oh, no! <laughs> ah! No. Taking my stuff back. Come here, you freaking bat! Get in the bottle! No, 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 pick up bat bottle! Pick up bat bottle! Bat bottle! No! <laughs> bat bottle! Come here, bat bottle! Oh, I'm getting out of here! Oh, oh, bat! Hi! Hi. Look, there's so many bats are in here! Mmm! You drop a bat wing. I'm out of here. You people are unpopular and your style of dress is appalling. Oh, I'm going to take every bit of my angst out on these flying mammals. Die? Give me your wings. I'm sorry. I need them. I'm going to tear them off. Bats, drop the wings. Give me, give me wings. Where are the wings? There we go. One more. Just one more. Oh, thank goodness. Mother of Godfrey. Hello, everyone. We're back. Can't believe we were being held up by freaking bat wings. But now we're back in the comfort of our basement with all the supplies we possibly could need in the midst of our alchemical equipment. So, as you can see in this book, we have everything now on the list. I'll be going through the items on top to make these secondary items below. And let's get this thing built. I'm going to go ahead and transfer everything that we have inside our golden bag of holding here so we can start building. And then we're going to fight the wither to complete the puzzle. So, cue the crafting music. Rogues and Alchemists, we've done it. This is the most advanced magical tome I have ever written. You know what's next? It's time to fight the Wither. Finally, it's been a long time in coming, guys. Time to fight the Wither. For this battle, I got several pieces of gear with me here. We got, of course, the materials to summon the Wither. We got my armor up there in the corner, which I'm going to put on. 
And in the lower right hand corner, you can see that we got two stable and stable ingots. We got those from our Lumium. So we're going to put this on, gear up, and get ready. Now, these Angel Heart vials we had extra, and those are going to be nice because if you die, these will resuscitate you. So we have them, I figure we might as well take advantage. And of course, we have our holy hand grenades, which worked well in the caverns when we were avenging our death in the catacombs. And this is our bobble case, which is quite nice. It'll store our bobbles in it. We found this in the cave. Gives us haste and the magnet. And of course, our tainted blood pendant, which is going to give us regeneration. Put that on. And then the two bands. Create an aura, which will produce mana, and this guy will store it. So we have our own uh, land network of mana, which is freaking awesome. And I think now we're as ready as we're ever going to be. Let's summon this bad boy and get our star. And boom. Ugh. We'll get- Oh my gosh, he broke everything. He broke everything. Eat grenades. Wow, it's like four of those killed him. It's ridiculous. Oh, it used up my... My bottles are gone. I, did I die? I must. I must have been killed. Finally have everything we need, guys. So, we got the book, we got the star, and now finally the time we've been waiting for. Let Really? That's really worrying. We're back. I hope that this book doesn't trigger a crash every time we open it. Let's try it again. Okay, so we're up. It says we convert redstone into other materials by right-clicking. So we got lots of redstone, so let's change it. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. It's eating redstone. Now, this is why we're not going to make the uh, the ring just yet. We want to keep at least one star on retainer so that that way we can duplicate it. Now, check this out. <laughs> Two nether stars. And now we're going to just let that eat again. Fill back up to 250. And we'll just make another nether star. So there, there are a lot of good things that we can make with these nether stars. And we don't want to fight the wither each time, because the wither learns. And now we could make a wither cage and, and things like that, but I, uh, I feel a lot better about just removing that from the equation altogether. Oh man, this is so satisfying. All right, let's do this. I'm, I'm so excited. I've never progressed this far before. Uh, ring! Yes! Oh, feels so good. Let's, let's, let's put it on. Actually, let's do this right. Let's do this right. Let's do this right. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, I'm Batman. <laughs> That's awesome. Woo! Yes! <laughs> Finally. I'm all powerful! Alright, everyone. We're going to call that an episode for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Sassy Rogue on her side of the channel. She's doing a Vanilla Let's Play. we got several other collab series together. And like and subscribe. Check us out on RogueAlchemist underscore. That's our Twitter handle. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody. Antonio, are you following the user's directions? Or are you just killing sheep? I'm just killing you. <laughs> Sassy. <laughs> that freaking <laughs> had grapefruit in it. <laughs> Maybe.